Once upon a time, there were three young women who got into very big trouble. Na, 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 come on. The first was a Park Avenue princess turned na, 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 thief. Come on. The second was a marine decorated for valor, court-martialed for a deadly mistake. And the third was a dedicated police detective turned dirty cop. They each made mistakes, but I gave them a second chance. And now, they work for me. My name is Charlie. Angels, you're looking for a 16-year-old runaway. Her name is Sarah Daniels. She's being held captive in a room somewhere in the Falcon Hotel. A notorious child trafficker known as Paharo is attempting to sell her. You have to find Sarah before it's too late. and mortally wound your shirt. <laughs> it's not, a, uh, it's not fatal. Can I buy you a drink? Yeah, I am uh, such a klutz, I'd probably spill it. One fashion emergency is enough for tonight. Take good care of her. It won't be long. Okay, ladies, time to fly. You bug Mackle's phone? With one hand behind my back, you in position? Almost. Headed towards the service area now. Gloria, has the buyer's rope touched down? Walking off his G6 as we speak. Welcome to Miami, Mr. Fisk. Thank you. I got Fisk. I'm leaving the airport now, Kate. I'm on it. <clears throat> Bosley. Bosley. Adult swim is over. Excuse me, ladies. Duty calls. The fish you mean yet? I'm meeting Pajaro's broker in 20 minutes to pick up the package. I'll email you a picture now. I think you'll approve. Bosley, you all ready? OK, Gloria, I'm wired in. The bug is active. I'm ready to track the calls. Okay, I'm going off road. What are you doing? What do you think you're taking? Where's Bajado's broker keeping the girl? I don't know. I swear. Okay, okay. The Falcon Hotel. I'm meeting him at the bar. A guy named Mackle. Once he's confirmed my boss's wire transfer, he'll give me instructions how to get the package out of the hotel. She's not a package. Her name is Sarah. She's 16 years old. I I'm just the middleman. I'll do anything. You're going to make a phone call. And you better be Oscar worthy. It's Fisk. The limo never showed. I'm jumping in the cab. I'll let my guys know. He's calling the hotel room, locking down the signal. Yeah. Sit tight. Fire's rep is running late. I got it. He called room 2819. Get visual confirmation Sarah's in the room. Satellite camera coming online. OK, you got three guys in the room. They look heavily armed. Sarah's on the bed. She's bound and gagged. Ready to 
do some housekeeping. Dropping in now. parents, Angels. They are incredibly relieved to have her back safe and sound. Well, now that Mackle's been hiding behind an army of lawyers, what are the chances he'll flip on his boss, Paharo? It's doubtful Mackle's even met him. You do realize the irony of that coming from you, right, Charlie? <laughs> uh, Miami PD's been trying to nail Paharo for years. He doesn't leave any footprints, electronic or otherwise. He's a ghost. Ghosts aren't real. This guy is, and he needs to pay. Don't lose sight of what you've accomplished tonight. Sarah's safe because of you three. <clears throat> and, of course, you, Bosley. <laughs> Good night, angels. Night, Good night, Charlie. Charlie. OK, time to get the party on. I'm serious. I'm going to have to pass. Hmm? I uh, got a previous engagement. Pool babes? Good night. <laughs> okay, well, where are we celebrating? A uh, tide pool, ripcord, or if we go to the deck, I can score us a VIP table. Sounds oh, good. Is your favorite bartender working tonight? So funny you should ask. Actually, his shift does not end until 5 a.m. Hmm. What? He's single, he's straight, and he has a life plan. Mixing mojitos. No, he is saving his money to buy a boat and sail around the world. That is a plan. You do realize that is not a life plan. OK, fine. He's a dreamer, and that's sexy. Please, please, come with me. <laughs> Actually, guys, I think I'm going to skip the velvet rope tonight. No, you're not. Come on, you're coming with us. No, Let's go. No, 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 really, really. I'm, I'm completely beat. You guys go. Go and have margarita for me. We will have two margaritas for you. I'm missing out. I found these in your trash. When you said your dad was reaching out, you didn't say it was a full-blown letter-writing campaign. The great white shark of Wall Street can be relentless, even in captivity. And I threw them in there for a reason, detective. Good night. Catch you ladies tomorrow. It is tomorrow. Come on. It's your dad. I used to steal war halls. <laughs> I never thought my heart could hurt this much. She doesn't even have any family that we could call. We were a family. She was our sister. How's Charlie? Devastated. Losing an angel's is worse than I am. It's mine, too. I'm gonna find out who did this. It's the last thing we do.
just walked in. Hold on a second. Can we have the room? Bill, let's get out of here. Clear the room. Got it all. Okay, Charlie. Bosley updated me. Thank God you're okay. Who are those people? It's just a precaution. They're sweeping the agency. I sent teams to your homes as well. You think we're being targeted? I can't confirm that you're not. Gloria was family, and her murder is our most personal case. I need to know you're up for the fight. Bring it on. Just remember, you're angels of justice, not angels of vengeance. Check this out. I gave the cops access to all of our security cameras, except these. Sending it to you now. This is half an hour before you guys left the building. Check out the woman on the motorcycle scoping Gloria's car. She split right after the explosion, didn't call 911 or stick around and wait for the police and talk to them. She just took off. What's that shadow on the back of her neck? Look at the ink. Same as Gloria's. Means they were members of the same car boosting group. I don't get it. Gloria waved goodbye to that life when she enlisted with Uncle Sam. Boz, run her face against the Miami-Dade auto theft database. Log in under Detective Ray Goodson. Badge 41976. Your ex-fiance? Yes. Guess I can take impersonating a police officer off my bucket list. Password? Always Jesus' birthday, 12480. Access granted. E. French pleaded no contest to grand theft auto and manslaughter in 05, stole a Lamborghini, got into a high-speed chase, ended up hitting a cab and killing the driver. Did four years at Tallahassee's Women's Correctional. How long has she been back in Miami? Paroled six months ago. Lives on a houseboat, Biscayne Marina. Why would she want Gloria dead? Let's go ask her. Whoa, whoa, remember what Charlie said. What? These are just conversation starters. Guys, just be careful. For me. next time. Why did you kill Gloria? I didn't. Then why were you in stalker mode outside the agency last night? We caught you on tape fleeing the scene. That doesn't make me guilty. Innocent people don't usually run away. I'm not playing this game. Gloria was like a sister to me. They tried to kill me, too. Easy, Abs. Let's do this back at the office. No, she starts filling in the blanks right now. I got a text from Gloria. She wanted me to meet her after work. Then why not come in instead of lurking around on the street? I'm shy. <sighs> hey, did she say what she wanted? Personal case she was working on. She wanted to show me something. Deal with them or come with us? It's your call. The girl's 
decent? Yeah, I just updated Charlie. I've got Gloria's phone record. She texted Eve at 12.35 a.m. Wow, she wasn't lying about your mad hacking skills. Okay, uh, I'm not a big fan of the H word. It's like telling Picasso he's good at throwing paint onto a canvas. Wait, Gloria talked to you about us? She said you were the best crew she ever had. She never mentioned you once. That doesn't mean we weren't close. I met Gloria when I was five. St. Teresa's Orphanage in El Salvador. How did you end up in Central America? My parents were aid workers. They were killed in the Civil War down there. When I got to St. T's, Gloria took me under her wing and protected me. Wow. From orphan to car thief to jailbird, you should have your own reality show. I'm not bitter about the cards I've been dealt. If you want to survive, you have to adapt. Is that what you're doing right now? I know you're upset because Gloria came to me instead of you, but the fact that your feelings are hurt isn't my problem. Ding, ding. Love a cat fight, but ladies, please, back to your corners. Mm. Eve, according to her phone records, you two have been talking a lot recently. Yeah, when I got paroled, Gloria was helping me get back on my feet. I swept her hard drive. She was working a case on her downtime. She left no trace. <sighs> Do you have any idea what she wanted to show you? No, but I think we should go check out her apartment. Let's do it. Since when can the cops spare extra uniforms to babysit a victim's apartment? Let's find a way in. Yeah. That's Gloria's balcony, third floor. Ladies, I got this. Hand me the Prada. Abby put the cat in cat burglar. Makes sense. Somebody made it a crime scene. But why trash her place? They even got at her gator. I gave this to her last Christmas. This is pointless. I wouldn't say that. You grew up in an orphanage and learned how to hide things that are valuable. Hey, guys. Since when did Gloria have a cat? She didn't. Yeah, she's allergic. And what's she doing with the kitty litter box? That's my girl. Nuns force you to be crafty. It's a class A floor safe. Last resistant biometric lock. Last time I cracked one of these, it was under two minutes, but that was after two cosmos and I was hanging upside down. Came back yesterday. Gloria had two samples tested, like a blood from the box and saliva from the shot glass. Let's see. Club Cipher. That's on 10th and Collins. The two samples match. I wonder who the big winner is. Rodrigo. 
Why would Gloria be tracking him? Oh my gosh, she found him. Found who? Pajaro. How do you know about him? It's a long story, but I had no idea she tracked him down. Time out. Rodrigo is a multimillionaire. He throws more white parties than Diddy. Are you sure he's Pajaro? I swear on my life. We need to call Boz. Yeah, we need to leave. Hey, come drop your gun! Give me your keys. Eve! Eve, what are you doing? Keeping a promise I made to Gloria a long time ago. I'm serious. What promise did you make? To kill Pajaro. Eve, put the gun down. Let's just talk this through. There's nothing to talk about. That's why Gloria called me the other night. So what's your big plan? Roll up to Club Cypher and blow Rodrigo away? He has to pay. We loved Gloria, too. We want to get justice, but this isn't the way to do it. You have no idea what he's done. How about trafficking underage girls? He was behind a case we just broke. 16-year-old runaway. We managed to help her, but there were others we couldn't save. You can rescue them and take down Pajaro's entire operation, but not if you kill him. You can't hurt another girl. You won't. You have our word. I got confirmation. The prints on that shot glass are Nesto Rodrigo's. Just so we're clear, Eve, you're accusing one of the biggest developers in South Florida of trafficking kids. You're sure this is the same guy? Before Rodrigo was on magazine covers, he led a death squad in El Salvador. I know because I saw him with my own eyes. Gloria dared me to sneak into the chapel at the orphanage. There was a wooden angel on the altar, and we were going to carve our initials on the back of it. That's when the trucks came. Pajaro was there to steal the girls. And he murdered the nuns and the boys. They wore masks and attacked without warning. Wait, if Rodrigo wore a mask, how can you be sure it's him? I have an angel to thank for that. We hid under the altar. Gloria was clutching her butterfly box so tight I thought she'd break it. Pajaro came in to search the chapel, and that's when I saw his face. And so did Gloria. I knew what he was gonna do with us, so I hit him with the angel. And then we ran for our lives. Girls we left behind still haunt me. Is that why you and Gloria made your pact? To kill Pajaro? I get it. You wanted him to pay. How are we gonna nail this guy? We aren't. Abby Boss and I will take it from here. What? This isn't about revenge, Eve. If we're gonna shut down Rodrigo's operation, we need him alive. About tonight, I'm sorry. Too late, you're benched. Rodrigo's been giving the cops the middle finger for years. We don't exactly play by the rules either. Yeah, we're angels, not saints. I ran Nestor Rodrigo past my intelligence sources. Let me guess, he's squeaky clean. Spotless. Sarah Daniels is the only one of Pajaro's victims that has ever been saved. Abby, was she able to give you any insight? She said she was chained to some other girls. Most of them are speaking Spanish. There's an interesting fact. This foundation builds orphanages in Central America. Rodrigo must be using it to funnel girls into the country for trafficking. I squeegeed his database. Somehow he's keeping all of his illegal activity off the grid. 
The man runs a criminal enterprise in the 21st century. The information has to be there somewhere. Actually, it's in someone. Her name is Nadia Kozlova. She has a photographic memory. One of my buddies at MIT told me about her. I thought she was an urban legend. She absconded with $14 million from the Russian mob. Rodrigo's bodyguards aren't only for his protection, they're for hers. They go with her everywhere, except inside his Star Island compound. Did we say that you were benched or no? Actually, I thought Miss French could assist you. Gloria was the only family I had. I want to help. It's fortunate for you that I believe in second chances. Don't let me down. I won't. Is this okay with you guys? It's Charlie's call. According to his Twitter feed, Rodrigo is hosting a charity fundraiser at his mansion tomorrow night. The theme is heaven and hell. Sounds like we'll blend right in. Big party, lots of security distractions. We go undercover and grab Nadia. It's a buzzkill the plan, but don't you think police might consider that kidnapping? The police need evidence. I only need certainty. Nadia is the best way to link Rodrigo to his crimes and take him down. Watch your backs, angels. Goodbye, Charlie. Thanks, Charlie. Bye, Charlie. Bye. <laughs> Let me introduce you to my party people right. in the club. There's Rodrigo. Boz, are you set? Truck's in position in the back by the bathroom. Once the spray hits Nadia's stomach, she'll start cramping within 30 seconds. When she heads for the bathrooms, that's when we'll grab her and get her to the catering truck. Eve, stay on Rodrigo. Let us know if he moves. Got it. Abs, you want to take the first shot at Nadia? She's right by the ice sculpture. Hmm. Can hardly tell the two apart. It's just like her. Abby Sampson, Bridget and Priscilla, uh, Dalton Pratt. Uh, yeah, the Wentworth sisters. Sure. Hi. It's been uh, it's been forever. Yeah, cute outfit. Oh. Are you one of the servers? Yeah, yeah. Recession's a bitch, you know. Oh. <laughs> Considering what your father did, I call it payback. Do you know how much money he screwed our uncle out of? Uh, no idea. I, uh, I haven't spoken to my daddy. Oh, that's for my Facebook page. I'm sure all your old Dalton friends would love to see what you've been up to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lini? Oh, yeah. sure. Thanks. Bye. You are so welcome. Nice friend. Yeah. You all right? I will be in about 30 seconds. Oh, my God. Oh. It's an x lax oh, at least we know the gut juice works. No wonder Gloria liked you. You're up next, Kate. Further? No, thank you. We missed our window. Time for plan B. As in, uh, plan Bosley? <clears throat> whoa, 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 whoa. We never fully discussed plan Bosley. Well, we know her deal with Rodrigo is strictly business, but Charlie's intel suggests she has a healthy appetite for the opposite sex. I'd say Bosley trumps Beluga any day of the week. I'll meet you at the catering truck. All right. That's the total number of guests. 58 servers, 29 busboys, 16 valets, two ice sculptures. And one very beautiful woman. What are you? Doctor, lawyer, internet billionaire. Starving grad student. My buddy's one of the caterers, so I tagged along for the free food and to watch the rich and famous in their natural habitat. And what do you think of the wildlife so far? Just got more exotic. Guys, Rodrigo.
Rico's on the move. He could be looking for Nadia. Boss, time to put the party on wheels. Get Nadia to the catering truck. Why don't we find a place with a little more privacy? Yeah, the guest house is on the other end of the compound. My buddy's catering truck's right there. Down and dirty is not my style. Okay, okay. Not down and dirty. We'll keep it nice and clean. You have five seconds to tell me who you really are. Fine. I'm a heartbreaker. Uh, uh, nice job, Casanova. Took you long enough. Guys, I lost Rodrigo. Never mind. We got Nadia. Just get changed and get the hell out of there. Whoa. <laughs> See? I knew the devil would get me eventually. Eve, where are you? Coming. Eve, we have to move now. I'm delayed, don't wait. Let's go. I kept that as a reminder of when I let two little girls get away. You killed my best friend. It was her own fault. She should have left the past alone. Nadia's missing. Your past is about to catch up with you. Pajaro. Here, you're full of surprises. Eve, are you there? Ah. Once I bring the Ice Princess out of sleep mode, she's all yours, Detective. Easy. The captain hasn't turned off the fastened seatbelt sign. Where are you taking me? We're 25,000 feet above the Atlantic en route to St. Petersburg. Ripping off a Russian crime boss wasn't exactly the smartest idea. Petrovsky sent you. These days he hires pretty girls to do a man's job. You hear that, Abs? She called us pretty. Such a sweetheart. Whatever he's paying you, I'll double it. So turn the plane around. Rodrigo grabbed one of our team. Where would he take her? As soon as we land in Miami, I'll tell you. You're lying. She'll be dead by then. It's my best offer. Here's some in-flight entertainment. It's a home movie of the last guy who crossed Petrovsky. Hope you're not squeamish. That guy is an artist with a nail gun. You think that scares me? Well, you should hear what he has in store for you. If it makes you feel any better, he's all bent up about having to kill his little babushka. Isn't that what he used to call you? How did you know that? Boys, buddies, when we get through here. Enjoy your flight. Oh, wait. Flamingo boatyard. He would have taken your friends there. Okay, Bob, it's time to bail. <laughs> Don't open that door! Are you insane?
Who took Nadia? Tell me where they took Nadia. Who took Nadia? You had enough? Just getting warmed up. <laughs> Just getting warmed up. Rodrigo must be storing the girls he traffics. He's running out of time. We gotta move now. New plan. You get the girls? I'll get Eve. Come. Who did Nadia? Tell me who took Nadia. Nadia. Nadia is not as tough as this one. She'll break. Time to slash and burn and kill her. You'll spend the rest of your life in a cage. That's what you deserve, Pajaro. Aha! Thought I might find you here. Gloria's uncle you saw in this garage, right? Yeah. I built my first engine here when I was 13. Okay. Let's turn my hair talk about cars. Charlie told me he called you. Came by to see if you've considered his offer. Yeah. Um, I'm just not sure why he'd want me. Well, he keeps his criteria close to the vest. My bet. He's impressed with your ability to adapt to situations, your above-average driving skills, and the fact that your employment options are extremely limited. Hmm. Yes. Is that how he got you? I was staring at a 20-year sentence for tax fraud. Planted a virus in the IRS mainframe. Skimmed a penny off everybody's tax return. My own personal stimulus package. I've already done my time. And working for a voice in a box isn't really my style. First rule of the Towson Agency, zero face time with the boss. I appreciate the offer, but it's not for me. You know why Charlie calls the women who work for him angels? Why? 
because they show up when you least expect it, when you need them the most. Trust me, I'm no angel. Why? Because you have a past you're not proud of? Look at this as your second chance. Like the one you gave Gloria. She was with you the night you were arrested, but you let her walk away from the accident before the cops showed up. She had always protected me. I wanted to protect her. Besides, she's the only family I had. We're a family, too. I think you could use one of those right now. It's Charlie. Take my advice. Answer the call. Don't need your sad face, sorry, baby. But I made up my mind. The hours can be long. And Kate can be really bossy. Oh! And Abby will overshare and want to borrow all your clothes. She's right. And I totally have dibs on those shoes. Just remember, we earn our wings together. I'm ready. Welcome to the Angels. Somebody would like to say hello. I trust you're all enjoying my yacht. It's amazing. The only thing we're missing is the owner. We were hoping you would drop in on the celebration, Charlie. Not today, Angels. But no, I'm always a phone call away. Cheers. Cheers.